Hey guys, it's Brian, and I'm going to run through all the collectibles in the second story mission in Alien Isolation. Now, the first audio log, this is going to be the fourth one in the game. Uh, there's 15 audio log total, and there's two ID tags in this uh, mission that you can get. But the first one's going to be after you crawl through this vent to get bypass this fire uh, that's over there, the gas explosion. Uh, if you go to keep continuing down the hallway from there, you're going to run into the computer terminal right there. You can see it. The computer terminals are pretty easy and hard to miss. Um, just as a side note, a lot of the collectibles are going to appear on the map when you get close to them. So even if you don't pick it up, you'll see it on the map, uh, especially the ID tags can be kind of hard to find. Uh, next one is going to be a little later on. You're going to come up these stairs. You're going to have a map here you can pick up to the right. And then you're going to go into the little uh, structure to the uh, right behind me here, and you're going to have to turn on the generator. Uh, this is part of the story path, but once you've uh, accessed this little turn on the power here, uh, you'll have access to the computer that's just to the right of me. Now, another note is a lot of the collectibles uh, you're not going to be able to get. You're going to kind of run past uh, locations where there are some at, but you are not going to be able to access them uh, due to the fact that you don't have the tools to access the area in which they're at. So there's going to be a lot of backtracking. A lot of the future chapters will take you to a lot of these earlier locations anyways. But in this terminal, make sure you get all three archive logs that are in there. So make sure you check all the folders and play any audio files that are in there. Now, the next one is going to be here in this uh, pool table area where the gaming is. And uh, you've just turned on some more power. And it's going to open this door. And you have to go into this little building and go through a floor vent. But before you go through the floor vent, there's a couple collectibles here. Uh, there's a save point there as well. Uh, archive logs 9, 10, and 11 are going to be in this computer terminal. And then archive log number 8 is going to be on the tape recorder that's on the desk that I walked right past. So make sure you grab both of these before you go through that vent in the floor. Archive log number 12 is going to be uh, in this large area. You're going to come up to and you're going to see a big door there with a brace on it uh, with a number 42. And uh, you're going to have to get the uh, uh, tool to be able to open that. But here just in front of the door on this little cart is another tape recorder. So go ahead and listen to that for archive log number 12. Alright, so this next one is archive log number 13. There's some stairs just to the left of that door. And if you head up these stairs, go through this door here and go straight all the way back, you will find the 13th archive log. And it's another tape recorder. Tape recorder ones are the more difficult ones to find. The computer terminals are, are pretty easy to find. So moving on to uh, archive log number 14 and our first ID tag for Z Watson. Uh, you're going to go travel through this uh, vent there, drop down, and there's a dead soldier. There's the tool that you need as well as the archive log and the ID tag. So make sure you pick up both of those and you can see the location there on the map. So grab the tool there. And then uh, shortly uh, after that, real close by, uh, you can remove this brace with your newly acquired tool. And if you go into this room, on the table is going to be another tape recorder, and that'll be the location of the 15th archive log. Interview subject. All right, so moving on from there, you're going to find another ID tag here for A Fielding. Uh, with your newly found buddy here, you're going to travel through this vent into a very dark room. Uh, you need to find a vent that's going to be on the opposite side. Uh, but once you enter the room, stay along the left side, and right around the corner here, you're going to find the, uh, the ID tag. It's going to be right here next to this uh, opening here. So make sure you grab that. It can be kind of tricky to find that one, and you can see the location here on the map. It's when you're uh, in the freight shipping area, uh, using your flashlight to find the vent entrance. All right, so close by from there, you're going to, uh, uh, you and your friend here are going to uh, travel down this hallway, and you're going to find a computer terminal that's going to be completely out in the open. 
Just make sure you access all three archive logs. It'd be 16, 17, and 18. So I want to thank you guys for watching. That's it here in the second mission. Uh, make sure you follow, like, comment, and uh, I'll uh, get the next chapters out to you here uh, shortly. So I want to thank you again for watching.